Hello, this is Natalie with Multi Business Solutions. Today we're going to do a QuickBooks desktop tutorial on how to apply credits for both vendors for your bills and customers for your invoices. When we're assisting clients with QuickBooks work, we often find that what they've been doing in the past is they've been changing the amount of the bill or the invoice if the, they find that the full amount is not collectible or the invoice amount, bill amount has changed. So, for example, if they have a customer that they have invoiced and the customer tells them that they are not paying part of the invoice due to a product or service being returned, or maybe they're not happy with the service and they're looking for a discount on it, then sometimes what the client will do is they'll just go and change the original invoice, but actually that is not correct and you need to create a credit memo. So I'm gonna show you how to do that um, very simply here. We're going to go into customers and we're going to go to create credits, create credits or refunds. I am going to select a customer. I'm in a sample company file here. So I'm gonna select a product or an item of service. It was the weekly gardening service. And there was a credit of $10 and this was due to a customer complaint regarding the quality of the service. So in our example, we agreed to discount that bill by $10. So I've created a credit memo. When I go to save it, it asks me what I'd like to do with this credit. So I can either apply it as an out, to an outstanding invoice, I can give it back to the customer as a refund and issue a check, or I can retain it as an available credit. Um, in this case, I wanna apply it to an invoice. So I'm going to apply it to my August 2nd invoice. That was the one that they were concerned about. So I applied the credit. And now when I go to receive a payment, from that customer, I can see that the amount on this one was originally $90. The amount that's actually due now is only $80 because down here I've applied a credit of $10 to that. And so if the customer paid you $80, then that's great. You can receive that payment that way and that invoice will be closed. For vendors, you can go ahead and enter a bill and I'm gonna switch from bill to credit. And so we will use um, a vendor Bayshore Water as an example. So on the August 1st bill, they gave us a credit of $25. And we'll say that was due to some issues that they had with the water service at the month. And so they credited customers for that. You can put in the memo here, the reason for the credit. And I'm gonna save and close. Now when I go to pay that vendor bill, Oh, it looks like we don't have a current amount of the bill to pay. So let me also enter the vendor bill for the month. So I'm gonna go to Bayshore Water. Whoops. Bayshore Water, and it's the August 1st bill, and I'm gonna enter the bill number here based on the bill that I have in front of me. It was $100 for the monthly water service. So now when I go to pay that bill here to Bayshore, I'll see the original bill was $100 and there's a 30, there's a credit down here. I have two credits actually available. We'll use the $25 credit that we just entered. You wanna make sure that if there's an older credit, what that bill should go, what that credit should be used for. Don't let outstanding credits sit there and not be used appropriately. So I will, um, in this case, we'll say that we can use both of them. So we're gonna use a total credit of $35. And now I only owe 65. So then I can issue that check and we'll say I'm manually writing the check and here's the check number out of my checkbook. And that is done. Another way to tell if you have any issues with credits or things that need to be fixed is you can run um, either the customer AR aging summary report or in your um, vendors and payables, you can run the AP aging summary report. If you see negative amounts that are showing up on this report here for AP aging summary, you might want to look into that and see why you have negative credit amounts or when you're looking at the customer's AR aging report and you see that there's uh, maybe some negatives here, like here's a credit, here's a credit that needs to be used. So you can investigate those things. But we encourage you, if you have any questions, contact us at Multi Business Solutions. We'd be happy to help. Thank you.